Hey everybody, it's Joy Packard on a very quiet Friday night. I don't really have usually quiet Friday evenings, so it's it's really nice. I've, I'm really enjoying the peace and quiet. <clears throat> I know that many people like to um, basically go out and you know do things on Fridays, which we usually have date night, and that's it. Just wasn't happening tonight, but anyway, I just basically enjoying that. So. You know, today I was helping my daughter practice driving. She's about to take her driving test soon. And she was saying something that made me, you know, make me think of something, I guess, and I just wanted to share it with you. And that is, you know, she was driving and people were people were passing her up. And she was she was saying, "Oh, you know, all these people are passing me up and I need to keep up with them." You know, and I said, "No, um, you know, you don't have to do that. You don't have to keep up with them. You don't have to speed if they're speeding and you don't have to go as fast as they're going. You just need to go your own pace. And, and, you know, she said, okay, you know, cause they're going like 50 and a 35 and, you know, I didn't know if I'm supposed to keep up with them or whatever. And I said, no, you don't have to keep up with them. You know, you need to go the speed limit. You need to do what you're supposed to do. And you don't need to worry about what others are doing. Just do what you know. And that, you know, basically, and I, we got onto the topic of running your own race. And, you know, a lot of times we compare ourselves to others and whether, you know, we're, what we wonder sometimes if we're doing a good job on something or if we're going as fast as we should be going or not fast enough as someone else, because they seem to be doing better in this business than I am, or, you know, I'm trying to run this race or run this and they're running faster than I am. And believe me, I've run many races where I thought that I thought these people are running way faster than I am. In fact, one somebody had a T-shirt in front of me, and it said, um, "You know, I may be slow, but I'm still in front of you." <laughs> and it was an old man, and he really was in front of me. And I got to thinking, I, you know, I am running my own race. And so I, I thought that was an awesome thing. I thought that was an awesome lesson, you know, to teach my daughter about running your own race, going your own pace and stop worrying about, you know, what the neighbors have and what this person is doing and whether they're better than I am or whatever, because, you know, we can relate this to anything, even in our Amazon business or whatever business you're in, you know, a lot of people might have more sales than you have and they may go faster than you might go, but it's okay. You know, it's okay to not, it's okay to not be doing what others are doing. It's better to do things that you're doing and to just do it, you know, according to your pace. And that's okay. As long as you're moving forward, it was a great conversation with my daughter, you know, and, and this happens a lot in everyday life, not just someone who's speeding and going faster than you in the lanes. It's, it happens in business. It happens in schools. It happens in our families. And we just sometimes get so down on ourselves and feel like we have to be better than somebody else or go faster than somebody else. And that's not true. And so I've kind of practiced that lately in my own life. I've, you know, basically um, gone as fast as that I've known how. And sometimes that may not be fast enough for some people or whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you a quick Friday thought. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm still waiting for it to get cooler here in Texas. It's supposed to be colder. It is October after all, you know, and I still feel some mosquitoes outside or whatever. So anyway, I'll be going to Colorado next weekend. So maybe I'll be able to enjoy some of that as I go to an Amazon private label retreat um, with Andy Slammons, which I see Andy on here. I don't know if he's still here, but i um, so excited to meet up with some awesome Amazon sellers next weekend and enjoy the mountains of Colorado. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday evening, whether it's date night or family night or quiet night. And those of you who have not visited my blog, it's at joypacker.com. Feel free to connect with me there. And I think somewhere on here that you're watching, you can follow or subscribe. So take care. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.